Okay, so this is now the third part in the fire alarm review series. So, let's start with the device. So, first off you'll see that this is not really a fire alarm box, this is a mailing box. So, could this be a new device? Well, no. Today we're going to be reviewing my Firelight VG6. And I have that mainly to protect this. So here it is. This is my Firelight VG6. Push the box out of the way. There it is. Yep. Two sound alarm, pull down. And you'll see the paint chipping, which is pretty common on the VG6 because this is an all metal device. Pretty much everything on here, besides the switch right there, which is plastic and the Practically this entire thing, and that turn the block. This entire pole station is pretty much made out of metal. And it's very hefty. It weighs a, a good, maybe solid three to possibly five pounds. More than two pounds at least. Here's the back. See? Firelight Alarms model BG6 non coated fire alarm box. FM UL listed. So. And I will open this, um, but first let me show you how you pull it down. So as you saw, it springed like that. It did not lock in place like this, like with some Firelight models. For example, New Age Server Alarm, who I believe has a second generation of BG6. Or actually, I think he had seven of those second generation Firelight BG6s. I might be wrong, but... So, reset it, you basically open up this um, Allen wrench type screw, which here is the Allen wrench right here. And I'm gonna finger open it, and reset it, you. Uh, just make sure. Oops, I'm trying to untighten this, not retighten it. So here you go. Um, there you go. Couldn't quite see that, but I'll bring the screen. Come on. It's a little tough to. There you go. Takes a little, it kind of gets stuck um, when you have to reset. It really works when it's up like that. So let's look inside. You'll see nothing too fancy. You'll see the mechanism. So there's the spring. Here's the tabs. DRO101, which I'm not sure that is, but there's the spring where the Flash goes down, like, for example, um, wait, sorry, I'm just trying to, trying to find a good angle where I could show you, here, maybe like that, kind of like, let me see, I'm trying to, like this, there we go, oh man, Trying to. There we go. So there's the spring, as you can see. That's the handle and very rigid pole station, I will say. So just wanted to show you that. So here's the inside. Here's the metal button. There is a model, as you can see. There is another. There is another um, hole right here, and that is actually for another switch. And that is because there's actually another BG6 version, which I believe um, Frosted Strobes owns. He does, that is. Um, it's called a BG6A. And it essentially has two switches. Now, I don't exactly know what the A means in BG6A, but I do know for a fact that it does have two switches. So, And then there's also a really rare um, BG6L. 
There is actually a BG6L. And then I think there's one more. Right. I have the your average BG6. So I'm going to try to retighten this by finger screwing. I think I am actually doing the opposite of what I want to do. Never mind. I was actually doing screwing it in the right way. Um, so let me just. My apologies, I'm trying to, there we go. I'm a right-handed person, so. Probably how come it's a little harder to do it with my left, so. Let's put in the Allen wrench and screw it in. And we will get as tight to it. And here's the Allen wrench. Okay, so there's the other side. You can see the paint chipping. Let's go to the back, which I did kind of show the back. Here are the screw terminals. So this is a terminal block, so and this is the switch. And soldered on there. Pretty dirty on the back, but for BG6, it's not bad. Not bad to say, I mean, it looks, looks good. And I do, I do intend on restoring this pull station one day hopefully but yeah so um, now let's talk about rarity so to say if you want to get this pull station how rare this pull station so let me pull out some let me pull out a few of my pull stations and they're right here let's do a common pull station like the um, is it as common as something like the BG12? Or is it less common, like something like, well, I guess my 4251-40. If I were to lean from being this being most common to this being um, not as common, i put this out of the way and put this over here. And then maybe i put this out of the way and put this being not common at all. This is actually a very rare device, as a matter of fact. The BG6s, BG6 are not common so it's a good thing to keep that in mind um, had this pull station for um, oh geez I think I've had this for almost a year now but this was this is still a pretty rare device um, there are rare versions of this but this is um, from one being um, very common to five being extremely rare. I'd put this at like a four or a 3.5. This isn't extremely rare. Like you should, you could certainly find these pole stations. They're not like as rare as something like ridiculously rare, like something like a Gamewell M69 or something rare like a um, Faraday 1123-1 or um, I'm trying to think of another pole station. Faraday 1123-1 is actually maybe as as rare as this, if not maybe a tad bit more rare, but at least to say. And then I'm trying to think of another rare pull station. This isn't terribly rare. I mean, if anything that makes it rare is so the fact that it's a 40 because it has a dual stage switch, but maybe we'll review this in a latter video. And then, by the way, I do accept, um, if you want me to review anything in my collection, I accept suggestions. So, comments, discussion, that's pretty much it. So, um, another rare pull station. Well, any other rare pull station. Maybe something like the Simplex Chevron, which it would be actually kind of as rare as this as well. But you know what I mean. This is a fairly rare pull station, so good thing to keep that in mind. And yeah, it's made of all metal. I like this pull station a lot. And would I recommend this? Um, yes. And. Well, I mean, I definitely would recommend these pole stations, but I mean, good thing to keep in mind is they are pretty heavy, so it's a good thing to keep that in mind. Like, if you were to have, like, a back box that was, like, fairly loose and it, and it was just, you know, it couldn't handle a pole station more than 